The April 2018 update for the Xbox One X added support for automatic low latency mode. So we're going to go through and demonstrate how that works. We're using a Samsung NU8000 TV here, which is one of the few that supports this right now. So if I go into my settings, we will go down to display and sound, video output, video modes, and here you see allow auto low latency mode. What this does is when you start a game, it will switch your TV into game mode. So you don't have to go in and manually switch that in the menus when you go between games and normal content. So to show this, we'll go ahead, we'll launch Hulu for example here. And here we see Hulu is launching as normal. I can go ahead, launch my account, give it a second while it loads, and that would work just fine. But if I go back here and instead, so I go back to Hulu, you can see everything's still loading just fine and it works, but let's say instead I want to go back and play Forza. So we'll go ahead and launch Forza. Here we see the Samsung has detected that a game has launched instead, and the Xbox One X has put it into auto low latency mode. So game mode will turn on as soon as you fire up a game. I can go down here and see in the Samsung, I am now in game HDR mode, whereas before I was in movie mode. Put out of there, go back to home, game mode turns off. I go back here to the Samsung, I can confirm I'm back in movie mode. So that is how the auto low latency mode works with the Xbox One X and the Samsung NU8000 TV. Other Samsung models also support this. Uh, other TVs from other manufacturers will be getting support hopefully at some time soon. It's an HDMI 2.1 feature, so it can potentially be added to HDMI 2.0 devices. The other TVs I have here right now I've tested with are the TCL 65P617 from 2018 and the Sony X900F from 2018. Neither of those support this mode at the moment, and my Sony A1E OLED also does not support this.